Grant us be free, O Lord our God. The constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the order of all that is well. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, Father, and God, and Father.
So what did you hear in your readings? You heard anything? Huh? Anybody heard anything in your readings? What do you hear? You're far around the world. You heard in the gospel that your endurance will win you your life. Anybody else heard anything? Over there? Yeah? Let me hear you. Come. Oh. 
Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not say that with me. I still hear you. Say it again. I check in the side and see if they heard anything at all. Anybody here heard anything? Come. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Friends and family will betray you and hand you over to the courts on account of mining. Our readings today are coming at the end, the end of this liturgical year, and it's reminding us of something very important, that everything that has a beginning Oh God help them out. Has a? So everything that has a beginning also has a? Also has an end. And as much as we like this life here on earth, a time will come when we will not be here on earth alive. We would have died and gone on. And even the earth as we know it, which had a beginning, will also have, also have an end. And so the generation point and that, that destination is not here on earth, it is beyond this. It's beyond this. And if it's beyond this, where is it? Huh? Where is that? In heaven. If it is beyond this, it is when we live our life with God in eternity. So our readings spoke about some really big things. So they were looking at the temple building, and the temple was the most beautiful building they had at that time. Real beautiful. White marble, decorated with gold. When you're walking up the, to Jerusalem, it, it was just beauty. And Jesus says, even this most beautiful of buildings... Even this is going to come a time when not a stone will remain on top of another stone. This too will have its ending. And then he talked about collisions of world powers and the earth itself. As we know, our common home, the earth, is in crisis because of our, the way that we've been. So he talks about all these big things. But you know, we could kind of understand what he's saying a bit, you know. The two years of COVID, were they nice years? Huh? They were nice years? Let's, let's do it again? Huh? We, we want to do it one more time? It was so good. It was, if it's nice, do it twice. It was so good, we want to do it again. So in the two years of COVID, you were kind of thrown into a state like what Jesus is speaking about, where your whole world was thrown upside down. Not so? You couldn't be with your friends. You couldn't go to school. All the things you were accustomed to do, you couldn't do. All your extracurricular activities, your dancing and your this football and this and that could not happen anymore. And for months you were inside of your house. Terrible. Give me another word. Give me another word. Awful. It felt terrible. It felt awful. Eh? Frustrating. And what Jesus is saying in our big text today is even... When the worst happens, do not be afraid. Say it with me. Say it again. Even when our whole world gets shaken and we get turned upside down, do not be afraid. Do not 
be afraid. You know, things happen in our life that we can't predict, like COVID, when our life got turned upside down. But those are the moments when we have to remember who is with us. Not here, any. Who is with us? Who is with us? God is with us. Jesus is with us. And because God is with us, we could say the next line, do not. Because God is with us, we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid. How many of you are afraid of something right now? Let me see a hand up. How many of you are afraid of something? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Good? Yeah? Them big people over there, them think they're too big to be afraid. But I know better than that, you know. Thank you. Good. And what about on this side? Yeah, hands up. Okay. They're all things that we are afraid of. But why are we afraid? Why are we afraid? Because we have no control. Why are we afraid? Because we don't know the outcome. Why are we afraid? Because we can't see past what we could see. And what Jesus is saying is, even in the worst situation that you can be in right now, repeat the line, do not, say it loud now, Oh God, louder than that. I want San Fernando to hear you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. But, but there's something else we have to do if we're not going to be afraid. And it has to do with our endurance will win us our life. What does endurance mean? No, that's enjoyment. What is endurance? Huh? Perseverance. She gave me a big word to describe a big word. What does perseverance mean? I have two down in the same room. Huh? Continue pushing on. What? Push yourself forward no matter what. Keep pushing on. Don't give up. Keep with it. Because there's somebody who is with you and somebody who is on your side. And that person is not giving up on you, so you don't give up on him. And his name is? I don't think the people on Brian Lara from that could hear you. His name is? They now started here. What about San Fernando? His name is? Jesus. The reading is teaching us that in the real big and bad things that happen in our life, Jesus is with us. So keep pushing on. Don't give up. Don't stop. Even when the difficulties seem really, really huge and much bigger than your little life, do not give up. Do not stop. Keep pushing on. Keep going forward because God is with you. And when God is with us, who could be against us? When God is with us, who can be against us? To train us to live this way. I'm asking all the altar servers groups to do three things. And this is a training so that we can keep persevering, keep pushing on, keep doing what we're doing. I'm asking all the altar servers groups, and I'm going to meet the executive, and then we're going to do something with the leaders to help the leaders understand how to do this. But we're going to start with a daily sacrifice. We have anybody here from Our Lady of Perpetual Health? Any servers from OLPH? No? 
when you take out something or you give up something. I can't hear you. Come. When you like something and you give it up. Huh? When you give up something that you really enjoy. But also when you do something good for somebody else. When you do something good for somebody else. When you give up something, doing that, something that you enjoy and you give it up. All of those are ways of doing a daily sacrifice. A sacrifice is giving up something good for something that is better. When any of you in sports, yeah, any of you do dancing or gymnastics, yeah, and, and to be able to be in sports or dancing or gymnastics, you have to make sacrifice every single day. Not so? You can't eat everything you want to eat. You have to spend time in training. You have to spend time with your skills. You have to spend time doing things that you just have to keep doing until you get it right. And it's the same thing with the Christian life. We have to spend time every single day training to be a good, a, a good Christian. What you do? Eat that day and you have something to eat. What you do? You share what you have. Someone has a need and you can help them. What do you do? You help them. You're on social media and, and, and everybody picking on somebody. What do you do? What do you do? You jump in that foolishness? Or you do the right thing? You say, y'all, come on, lay off. A daily sacrifice is doing something every single day where you're giving up something that you want or you would like or that's easy for you for the sake of the love of God. And that's how we build endurance. That's how we build endurance. We build endurance by doing a daily sacrifice. Think of the sacrifice that Jesus did. He gave everything he had for you and for me. All we're asking for is a daily sacrifice. Can I ask every altar server to do a daily sacrifice? Close your eyes for a moment. I want you to speak to Jesus about this. Because the promise you're making is not to me, it's to him. Speak to him about it. And if you're sure you're ready to make that commitment, I would invite you to stand. Father, we thank you for our altar servers. And we ask, Lord, your blessings and your graces upon them. We pray, O oh God, today that as they begin this new stage of their journey as servers, that they recognize that who they serve is you, and that they serve you not only on the altar, but they serve you every day of their life. And that as they make their daily sacrifice, we pray that they may start to recognize you more and more clearly in those that they serve at home, among their friends, and in their school. We ask, Lord, that you would give them a deep love for you. And through this daily sacrifice, that they will build resilience and endurance and, and recognize how they can push forward, 
even when it seems difficult because of the graces that they will receive from you and from the ways that you will bless their lives. We thank you, Lord, for them, for their ministry, for their discipleship, and for their life. And we pray, O oh God, that they may remember every day to make a sacrifice and that they may remember every day when they make their sacrifice to offer it to you. And you who see all things would bless them in ways that they cannot now even imagine and allow them to experience love that they cannot yet imagine or understand. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen? Amen? Do the people of God say amen? amen. Please be seated. An altar server. That's the group? That's the name of your group? Altar, what's the second word? What's the second word? Servers. That means that you are people who serve. That's what a sacrifice is. A service to your family, to your friends, and above all, to God. Amen? Let us stand and profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We come before God with a prayer and our petitions, asking that God will hear the cries of his people's heart. For the church and her leaders, that in the midst of adversity, they may be fearless in proclaiming the truth of the gospel, which enlightens all. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those in government and in society, that they will be more attentive and prioritize the needs of the marginalized and less fortunate in our land. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For an end to war and peace between nations, that all people may live, sorry, that all people may learn to live in peace and endeavor to bring an end to the turmoil of war. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are starved of hope, especially the world's poor, that their sufferings may be recognized and alleviated by those in positions of authority. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those in ministry, that they may recommit themselves to humble service to others, in imitation of their Lord, who came not to be served, but to serve. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, you know each one of us and all our needs. Forgive our failings, keep us in your peace, and lead us to the way of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
merciful Lord, wonderful Savior, I know for sure, all of my days are held in your hands, grafted into your perfect plan. You can make hold me into your presence, guiding me by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, dear Lord, to hold my life through. Pray that your sacrifice and mine may be pleasing and acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and good of all his holy church.
grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death and summoned us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are clean. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who was that in the highest? Blessed is he who comes in the name. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, Eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your love, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Until you come. Until you come. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, just our bishop, the entire people you've gained for your own.
Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Amen. all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. So let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Jesus. Somebody has said it.
It only takes a spark to get a fire going, and soon all those around will light up in its glowing. That's how. Experienced it, you spread his love to everyone. You want to pass it on. Oh, what a wondrous night we're in, when all the trees are birthday. The birds begin to sing, the flowers start their blooming. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, you want to laugh, you want to sing, you want. I wish for you, my friend, this happiness that I found. You can depend on him. It matters not where you're bound. I shout it from the mountain top. Come to me, I want to pass it on. The Lord of love has come to me, I want to pass it Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts that this sacred mystery humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Through Christ our Lord. We're going to do the altar service pledge. Now, in the pledge where it says, I promise to serve all my assignments. You see that line? It's a third paragraph. I promise to serve all my assignments. I need you to remember that one of your assignments is making what? A, a daily sacrifice. One of your assignments is making a and not here in here. A little louder. That's one of your assignments. That one was assigned by me. The others will be assigned by your head altar servers. Everybody remember that? So let's say it together. I promise to give allegiance to and follow the directions of the church, the priests, head altar server and all others in authority. Give oil to my commitment and observe the rules of the altar servers at all times. I promise to serve all my assignments, to substitute when called upon, to attend all meetings, 
and to give of my best always to the honor and glory of Almighty God. I will do my best to build up the body of Christ, which is the church to which I belong. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. I think we have some things up there we have to do. Your Grace, Charles Jason Gordon, Vicar General, members of the clergy, specially invited guests, all present here today and those viewing via live stream at home. Today, as we gather here to celebrate 25 years of this Thanksgiving Mass and 30 years as a, as a council, we would like to appreciate some servers who have been serving in the auto servers ministry and going way above and beyond to keep the ministry alive, not only in their parishes, but also in their vicariates and in the archdiocese. Your grace, I'd like your help in distributing these tokens. We would like to call forward Mr. Christian Lucis from the Eastern Vicariate. Christian has been serving in the parish of St. Francis, Sandy Grandi, for a couple of years, and we would like to appreciate him. Clock. Congratulations. You, God bless. Yeah. We would like to call forward Kyla Nuez from the Northern Vicariate from the parish of St. Peter's Caronage. Congratulations. God bless you. We'll also like to call forward Cree George from the Central Vicariate from St. Anthony's Tabakit. God bless. Thank you. We would like to call forward Kelly Hospitalis from the Southern Vicariate. Kelly serves as a man, Laramin. Congratulations. God bless. How are you doing? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. And I know you may be saying that we missed out the civil war and vicariate, but Mr. Christian Piera is not here to receive. But we also like to appreciate him, although he's not here. Your Grace, thank you very much. Your assistance. Your Grace, thank you for coming and celebrating this Thanksgiving Mass with us, all the servers. Thank you for your great family. And we will try to give daily sacrifices as we endure and persevere against life challenges. Thank you, Your Grace, for your presence and your message. Thank you. Thank you, Father Martin Sergio, for being a gracious host and for allowing us to celebrate this, our 25th Thanksgiving Mass here today in the cathedral.
Special thanks to all priests who are here today celebrating this Mass with us. Thank you. Thank you to both the Tugical and Youth Commission for always supporting the Auto Silver's ministries in all our needs. Thank you very much. Thank you to the Silvers who serve today, led by Brother Rochard, and to the Cathedral um, Choir, who played a vital part in providing glorious and joyful music as we say thanks in this Mass. Thank you. And to all persons who played a part in making this Mass today possible, thank you very much. And most importantly, to all the servers gathered here today, and those who are at home, we say thanks for always answering the call to serve with grace and passion. I pray that God continue to bless you with health, strength, and wisdom to carry on the good work you are set out to do in the Lord's vineyard. Continue to endure to the end. Thank you for your service. Keep Serving. Thank you all for coming, the parents in the back, and everyone do have a safe and enjoyable week. After mass after we process out i would like to meet all of the leaders of altar silver groups that are present here today with our episcopal delegate for youth i would like us to meet on this side over here to the front so when we process out we'll just come back to this side here for a short huddle and for, for a few moments everybody good with that yeah? Great. Any more speechy fine? Yes. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine.
as we gaze on your kingly brightness so our faces display your likeness ever changing from glory to glory mirror hear me our lives tell your story shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine Shine on me, shine on me, shine Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory, this spirit please, set our hearts on fire, flow river flow, Did well? Oh, good day.